Hey guys, Natasha with the Day of Ethel vlog. Wow, I am so excited to start my first review of 2019 with this book, A Place Without You by Joel E. Ann. Henna and Bodhi's story is raw, it's emotional, it's two people that are so in love with each other that it takes, you know, fighting emotionally and mentally to get to the end. And there's several, like I have highlighted so much in this book that I feel like I can start a book club just of Henna and, and Bodhi's story because the law of Henna and Bodhi is when love breaks, fall inward, fall together and fall hard. Then let time pick up the pieces. This is their story. Henna is a free spirit 19 year old and she's off um, at Coachella. She's gonna do something fun. This is her life and she meets Bodhi. And Bodhi is, um, how do I say it? He is really misunderstood by others, but his father understands him. And so does Henna. Henna sees that this cowboy at a music festival is more than that. He could be a surfer. Then she finds out that he's a drummer and she loves drummer. And their story unfolds and they have like this this love, this lust at the very beginning, and some things didn't get to happen, even though she had a pocket full of condoms, stuff didn't happen. He had to leave, leave unexpectedly, and then she went back home to Colorado. She's back home, she's starting her senior year because she had to take some time off. And I'm not gonna tell you what, how, why she had to take some time off, but she had to take some time off. So she's the oldest person, she's a 19 year old, in her senior year of high school and she only needs a few credits to graduate. She's there, stumbles into her forbidden love, her Bodhi. And it's a shock for both of these two. And some things and some issues arise from them that they don't want people to find out. And Bodhi ends up kind of, for, not really forcing her, but kind of pushing Henna to go find her life. Go sow your oats. Go do that thing. Go travel the world and see the things that make you go, that make you smile, that make you glow. And Hannah is heartbroken when he kind of almost, you know, pushes her emotionally and mentally for that to go do her time. She travels the world. She's gone for years. Bodhi is heartbroken. He is struggling, but he just is doing the best he can. And the person that has his heart is traveling the world. And these two kind of have to overcome like they're, they can always say stuff that they need, but then they forget where their emotions are. And, and as these two time comes on, they're back in each other's arms. And with Alice, the Volkswagen, let me tell you, Alice, the Volkswagen is a car that I would love to own too. And these two, it's like, this is something that is said, every, every place was simply a place without you. And that's how Bodhi felt. Whenever Henna was gone, he was felt, he was without a place. He needed her in his life, but she needed him. And it took time and it took years for them to get back to where they're at. And now it's, I want it all. I deserve it all. You said safety suit, never stop. Do you know the lyrics? Because I do. They are big. They are begging and pleading, and they're lassoing the moon and capturing the stars. They're endless. And this is how their their love is. It's endless. Bodhi and Hannah have been together emotionally and physically and spiritually almost years. But once they're together, it's like an it's like an explosion of passion. And it's throughout the story you see these two grow, they grow, they, they mature, and then they let their stars finally align. And, and that's what's kind of breathtaking. But Hannah has to overcome her stuff too. She has to overcome her past and some things that she is asked to do that kind of heartbreaks Bodhi. And Bodhi has to overcome his past and his issues and things that he feels he's responsible for. And as these two kind of guide and muddle their way through it, um, they find their place. And it is, Bodhi and Henna are the a passionate couple that deserves everything that they are given. So guys, it's in the links. I hope I didn't screw up this review because it's a book that 
I will be rereading over and over and this will be I'm so glad it's the best of my 2019 because it really is the best of 2019 with this story. Talk to you guys later. Bye.